Wagon Sports fans, welcome back to another very special schoolboy football feature. I'm your host, Jomar, and God knows where Rush is. And this is Decided at Sports TV, the place you guys come to get the best, most interesting, and riveting sports topics, discussions, and debates on the internet. Yes, I'm your host, Rush. And before we get into today's video, don't forget to like this one, leave a comment, and subscribe to this side at Sports TV. And one more thing for us, though, bro, what are you doing up there? Share the video to at least ten people, but ensure to get a six subscribers because it's each and every one of you guys can manage to do with that. You know how many subscribers that get us by the end of the day, people, brother. We can do some right now, please. Ah, ah, ah! Me a forward, my boss. Me a forward. Yes, 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 we're there, we're not going away, not for us. What are you doing, Mr. Ray? Bro, Mr. Ray, you don't know, make the video fun for the people. You see, I could have actually record from what Mr. Ray, but you have forced me to come down, so. Where are you there, explore the school? Yeah, I was a Marty boy. A big place. Yeah, this is a, this is a massive, massive school. You know, their field is big. I'm pretty sure a cricket pitch can fit out here. Um, the school is big, and I'm sure there's some more schools yes, behind. The, the courts look like a prison yard. Yeah, there. yeah, they have the fence around the court. I okay, really love it, but it is what it is, people. We're here to do our Manning Cup team feature, and Jose Marty's Manning Cup team. Is it? So, how about my boss? Yeah, you know, I live life, you know? I take mm. a rough one easy. That's a true still. But watch now, we're here to talk some football. We're here to talk to Jose Marti High School, who last year had a second round birth. And who wants to go on with this team today? What are you expecting from this team feature? Um, well, you know, I, I expect them to have lost a lot of players. Mm. So I'm not sure about their player retention and how that might affect them this season. And I think they might be a weakened squad. I don't know. And I know for sure their captain and, and star man last season was a senior. Mm -hmm. But I do know of them retaining a few players. So let's see if the youth from last year would have matriculated. I know they had a good under 16 team last mm -hmm. season. So let's see. Yeah, let's see the makeup of this team. Let's see how they think they they will do in, the, in this year's Manning Cup. Let's speak to their coach, Coach Lewis. Yeah. Let's speak to their captain and a few of their players. I want really people we are getting at the Manning Cup vibe. Now. I know it is a slow burner season. I don't know why it started to slow this year. Last last year started way faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but hopefully we can build up to a really good season. Why would they start talk so long? I will need to go. Watch the jubilee man. You think the people want area talk so bad? But don't really think they want area right, talk. Let's go. So make us see what's going on. What's the market? Yeah. All right, we're here today with the coach of Jose Marta High School, Coach Lewis. First of all, congrats on, on, on the beginning of the season. You guys started with a bang. Something would have had to lead to that point though. Tell us about your team's preparation for this season. Well, preparing for this season wasn't as great as last year, but I guess we did some work and I guess it pays off. We are prepared. So are you going to share with our people why you guys didn't get to prepare as well this season? Well, basically um, we had camp, but we had some itch at the start of the camp. So that was the reason for not being prepared as usual. Alright, but you said nonetheless you guys are prepared and you guys managed to get off to a banging start. Um, speak to us about the team this year. Speak to us about how you think this team compares to last year's team who surprised a lot of people. Well, basically um, this team is a very rounded team. I guess um, we keep the ball more, we are more enthused, we are more in the game of such. So I guess um, we can go far away. Um, my name is Orin Gale. I'm the captain for Oza Marty. Alright, so we're here with Orin. First of all, Orin, tell us a little, little about yourself. How old are you? What grade are you in? And what position do you play? Um, my age is 15, going to be 16 next month. Um, I play defense, centre back. And yeah, I'm in, which grade are you in? I'm in grade 11. Alright, so a 15 year old, you're not even 16 yet. How do you find yourself becoming the captain of Oza Marty? I'm sure there are many guys on this team older than you are. Well, I mean, hard work, just listen to what coach I say and just do what I'm saying, is it? Uh, my name is Andrew Anderson. I'm in grade level right now. And uh, this is my second season for Oza Marty Technical High School. Alright, which position do you play? Um, attacking mid and right mid. All right. Uh, good evening again. My name is Mali Creed, play centre back. I'm going into grade 12. At somewhere I could have assumed that you played centre back. But I want you to tell me about your game. Um, 
How does Malik play? You know, ball playing centre back, goal scoring centre back. Talk to me. Well, <laughs> I'm a little bit of both, you know, but well, I'm a very defensive centre back because, you know, I like to defend, I like to tackle. That's my game. Tell me a player comparison. Tell me a defender out there you can say, Malik knock the ball like. Well, <laughs> Ramos. Sergio Ramos? Yeah. So you have the harsh tackle eliminator too? Mm. Alright. Mm. I mean, I would stay like Van Dyke in a way. Like to track, track people. Don't like, really like the one back up running, you know, but I will tackle when you, give, when you show me the ball, I will tackle you. Um, I am a ball angler. I find two pass as well. And I'm one of the most key players in the attacking in Osamati. Alright, tell me one thing though. You know, all of our love favourite players out there, but more want know one player in world football that you play like. Talk to me. Uh, Phil Foden. Phil Foden? Yeah, yeah. No, man. And we spoke to your captain, first of all, a 15 year old. What would have gone into the appointment of such a youngster, not even a sixth former yet, into being a captain and leading the team? Well, basically, Orion Gale is a natural um, leader. He is a leader. So I guess we have to um, give them that um, thing to go ahead from, from the start in the sense where as young as he is, I know that he can manage. And a good centre back nonetheless I can imagine. But speaking about leaders, last year you guys would have been led by what I think was one of the five best goalkeepers in the schoolboy season, Gavin Messam. Speak to us about his impact on the team last season and, and how you think he's impacted some of these guys. Because we just heard uh, Malik speak about how much of an influence he was to him this season and how much of a last season and how much of an inspiration he is to, the, to him this season. Speak about the impact that Messam left on this program. Well, Messam has left a great impact on the team. Even every now and then, Messam would pass by to train our um, goalkeepers. That's the impact he has on the boys. He reason with them every now and then, as often as possible. Um, on a weekly basis, maybe come here maybe twice or twice. So he's always in um, talking with them. So I guess they have a good um, camaraderie. So I guess in, that's why um, it left a great impact on the team. All right, so you were here last year, you know. Your captain, Messam, was, was a, a stalwart for you guys in goal. Talk to me about his performance and overall the performance of the team last year. How did you feel coming out of the Manning Cup? Well, our captain, former captain Gavin, well, he's my teacher in defending wise, but you know, I have to love him the same way. He's my way, like, my leader and everything, same way and thing. Uh, um, last season wise, otherwise from the defeat, we're pretty good, you know. Come back big and stronger this season, or willing for fight. And what will make Cousin Marty better this season than last year? Because you guys put, guys put together a good run last year. So ultimately, what will make you better? Continue training. Just continue training and put in the work. Stay with each other, fight for each other, and live with each other. All right, Captain, so the season, you know, recently got started. You guys got off to a bang. But before we even speak about the game that you have already played, tell us about the preparation. What was Jose Marty's pre-season like? Well, it was challenging, very challenging. We could have made it further, but we are trying to sharpen up this year, make it further than second round. And the preparation for this season, so what, what did you guys do like in the summertime to get prepared for the season? Well, we do a lot of training, do a lot of running, short sprints, abs, we do like gyms and those stuff. Uh, this is the running cup um, and camp, put out our best. And uh, all of us um, have our motivation, like the school history, we reflect on that and put out our best to make Osa Marty uh, a good name in football as well. Uh, talk to me about camp. Um, what was the nutrition like? What was the turnout like from the players? And did you enjoy the camp? Talk to me. Uh, you know, and too much board in one place for camp. I don't know, no problem for going. Camp was good as well. And you get a lot of fried chicken as well. I got a nutrition, we have a nutrition program. You know? All right, lastly, just speak to me about, about what it means to be a leader um, of this team. Tell me some of your responsibilities and tell me how you felt when Coach Lewis would have said that you would be wearing the armband for Zemar this season. Well, being the captain is very challenging, but to make it easier, just listen to what Coach I say. Bring it to the man, them, tell him, so, yo, gather around when training time. 
Yeah, and when our time for play, time for us and me. And Jose Martin, not so much known as a quote-unquote traditional high school, but speak to us about some of the things that a few of your players would have gone on to after leaving your care, Mesam being one of them. Well, um, basically I have players that went from Jose Martin, they went straight to the army, they are doing well. I have yeah. players that went overseas to college, they are doing well also. Mesam is on his way to the um, art. Um, organization where he's pursuing a career in um, AC electrician. So most of our players, they are um, in the field of work. And speak to us about that culture that you are instilling in these boys, that it's not all about football, but holistic development. Speak to us and speak to the people about what that means to you as a coach, to not only teach these boys how to play football, but to help them in, to becoming good men. Well, basically from day one that I came to Osamarty, that was one of my main goals, to um, not just seeing them play football, but seeing them get the five and the six subjects or the trade or something of that sort, but that what I instill in them on a daily basis. For me, um, football is secondary. Getting that education is more important at this time. All right, and you know, you spoke about that. So you said that a few of your, your players would have left, gone to school, joined the military. What does that mean for the remaining of your team? Is it that this team is now weakened because of the attrition rate, because of so many people deciding to leave or age out and move on? Does that mean that your team is weaker this season because you've lost so many players? Well, basically our team is not weaker. Um, the core of the team was our under 16 that played went to the second round last year. So I guess we have some depth to look forward to. Talk to me about your team this year though. Um, what can we expect from your team? How far do you expect to go in the competition? Well, we come for fight and if, as every other team willing to go to the final and win it. We can expect greatness from Osamati because all of us uh, have the mindset to win and this is a look better for us to start out because you know over the past history we have not started out well a campaign but I expect this is a good campaign for us. Well to me I feel like Masai can make it to like quarterfinals and from there we think about it. Uh, tell me something about the side like what type of football will we expect from Jose Marty this season? Knockings. Low knockings. And so, if we get a chance we we'll take it. So even playing it out from the back you have good defenders like can play the ball at, at feet and good midfielders and stuff like that? Yes sir. So your team is still a very young team, I'd imagine? I guess so. 14 and um, 16 year old average. Alright, so you know, um, one game gone in the season, you guys played well, you got a good result. Not against a relatively formidable school, football wise. Can we expect that sort of performance going forward or was it just, oh we're playing hard in and as such we got a good result? Well, basically we are prepared and we are taking it um, one game at a time. So I guess as the season progresses, we will see. All right, and you know, we, we, we spoke about, about Malik and, and, and Orion, right? Talk to us about the individual talents scattered throughout this team that is going to help you guys to be successful. Well, basically, um, we have a run the team. Our midfield is strong, our defense is strong, and we have a farm table, um, forward line. Um, individually, you have like Shamar, and Chard, one of our standout players, you have Andrew and listen, you have Orion Gale and a few others. So I guess as the um, season progress, there are more stars to be on the rise. For sure, all right. And because of that, tell us some expectations. You know, your captain said that he's sure that you guys can make it to the quarterfinals. Your centre-back Malik said that you'll see Jose Martin in the finals. But I want a tempered, more realistic expectations from Coach Lewis. What do you expect of Jose Martin this season? Well, the greatest thing, um, our players are confident and that's what they're going to carry us through. But um, hopefully, we are taking it one game at a time. So as the, team, as the season progress, we see where it goes from there. All right, you say you expect to go to finals. I want you to look into that camera. Remember, you know, the people are going to hold it to it. You say finals. I want you to look into the camera and say something to the Jose Martin supporters. Well, let's continue to support us and Enjoy the game when we play it. Um, guys, I want the best support you can give us. I will give you a reward you know, by winning and accomplish things. Come support the second round. <laughs> well, basically, I would tell the fans that um, 
at the end of the day it's a work in progress and today we win some we lose some so if, if we even lose we don't need um the, 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 the fans to go aside that's the time we needed the support if we win we need, even need the support more so i guess um the fans should always rally around us win lose our job all right, all right. There we have it, people. There we have it from Jose Martins Manning Cup team. So it's a good feature, bro. Jose Martins. Oh, yeah, we're there with the Cuban right now. He's <laughs> today up with the, the real general over Cuba. Jose Martins, same way. How do you feel about this school, bro? Um, as you said, bro, last season, we went and we saw them play against KC. Mm -hmm. And we said, if they get a point, yeah. we'll come do the feature tomorrow. And we did. Because they got a point. And they got a point. <laughs> and they played an, an inspired game against Kingston College. And from that point until now, they've been a, a team in our purview. Like, they've been a team that we've had our eyes on. Yep. Go with them out there, Triple, bro. You see it? But but yeah. Where are they, they from, my father? <laughs> but yeah, they, they're, they're a team that, that we really like. You yeah. know, we like what Coach Lewis is doing with the, with the guys. We like their cohesion. We like their unity. You know, they seem like a team that's together. They seem like a team that's well led, both from the administrative staff and from the players themselves. Mm -hmm. And I really like where the Susan Martin program is going. Yeah, and confidence runs through the team. You know, I, I spoke, we spoke to the boys, you know, very articulate. They spoke to us well, you know, they expressed themselves well. And I feel like this team believes that they can do something. You know, we spoke to the captain, we also spoke to Malik, who somehow just feels like, you know, it almost feels like, feels like they have two captains. You know, Malik spoke with such confidence and conviction. You know, so I'm expecting this team. They played their first game against Arden. Mm -hmm. I think they gave them four nil. Yep. You know, that's a good sign. But you know, yeah, Arden is not the measuring stick. So we are expecting to to see some decent performances from Jose Marti. I hope I'm hoping that they can build on last year's performance. You know, we always want to see the team stay good and get better. You know, they lost. A few of their players, they lost their star man last year, Gavin Messam, their, their captain, who I am assuming would be a big blow. We saw their keeper today, I can tell you he's no Messam. He's not and I don't know how good he is, but Messam was just one of the best keepers in the, in the, in the tournament. You know, good to hear that he still has a, has an impact on the boys, you know, mm -hmm. so, so that's a good thing. But yeah, how's the matter, all in all, bro, a good feature, a good, a good team, they're playing some football now. Looks, can't see, can't see some talent, can't see some talent there, so yeah, excited about this one. Yeah, and you know, the coach's emphasis on, on holistic development, not necessarily about football. Speaking proudly about how a few of his boys you know, have gone on to join the JDF, some of them have gone on to go to school overseas, you know, others are pursuing serious careers. Yep post-secondary education and you always love to hear it. The book doesn't always stop at football. That only happens for the 1% of the 1%. Yep. The other 99.99999% of us yeah. have to go and get regular big boy careers. And it's important that some of these coaches that aren't coaching that 0.1% is focusing on that other 99 and what they have to do after high school. And Mr. Lewis, the prime example of that. His captain, he said, is pursuing a, a, a diploma in electrical engineering. Mm -hmm. That's a big deal. Yes, he'll go on and he'll make a career out of himself. In addition to the fact that he still comes back. He still gives back. He's still with the boys. He's still leading the boys. Just from a different perspective. Yeah, and I think that's all because of the program and the work that they have put in and the school have put in. Awesome, love awesome, to see. awesome. For all the other Marty supporters, Make sure to leave a comment down below. Now tell us who is your favorite player on the Jose Marti team. Tell us how far Jose Marti will go in this year's competition. But obviously, I know that you like this video. So because you like this video, what I need you to do is to like the video. Actually, click the button and like the video. Now leave a comment and subscribe to this other sports TV. And one more thing for us though. Share the video to at least 10 people, but ensure to get to 6 subscribers. People, because if each and every one of you can do that, you know how many subscribers that get us by the end of the day. Yo, Jose, tell them. Talk to them, number G. Tell them to subscribe. Talk to them, no man. Me hear him, but only just never. Only just not. Only not. Listen, yeah. that's not a problem. <laughs> For now, this was inside at Sports TV, leaving Jose Marti with another Manning Cup team feature. And Jose Marti says, we're out. Big up yourself, in general. <laughs> <laughs> the man, 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 the